Hello and welcome to another Baby Shark podcast. My name is Austin. I am Curry. We are uh, again doing another two-man podcast this yeah. week. Sometimes when uh, when you're me, <laughs> to schedule like six or seven people, then you have to find out who's coming, what day. It's really hard. We can do stuff. It's pretty. It's pretty stressful sometimes. Yeah, it gets hard to get everybody in the same place because we all have different lives and different obligations. Yeah, since I am the only one who is 100% doing this full time at the yeah. moment, uh, I'm the only one who's like, well, I ain't got shit to do. I'll be there. <laughs> yeah, and I, I come pretty much every weekend because yeah. I don't work on the weekends, but... Wilson uh, has school and he does papers and homework assignments a lot on the weekends. So then we got Connor, who's not even really—he's just kind of around. If yeah, we need him. You were yeah. like, "Hey, Connor, come come hang out with us." And he probably could have came today. Well, I want him to come when we do Fibbage, especially because okay. I want I want at least four people here when we do Fibbage. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Three is the, two, more, the, three, more, the more the more people with small. that game is the better. Yeah, and three. I, I want to do Quiplash because I think Quiplash is We can is do Quiplash. Fun. We'll do both. But yeah, so like, what were we talking about right before I recorded? Is like, let's start it and then we can talk. Oh, yeah, that I'm living off of an Arby's gift card. Yeah, yeah, Curry's currently <laughs> living off of an Arby's gift card. Yeah, uh, for, uh, for a while there, I um, didn't have much money in my uh, bank account until I got paid. Uh and then I ended up buying water guns to squirt cat with. So that was another little bit of my money. And you spent $80 on a yeah, 80, Switch uh, Joy-Cons. $80 for a Switch controller. That's so ridi- that's ridiculous. Anyway. Curry, silence your phone. That was the email on the laptop. Oh. Anyway. Uh, for a while there. I was literally the only money or the only uh, food I would eat would be Arby's because I my mom got me a fifty dollar Arby's gift card. Dang! And I had been just using it over and over. I didn't know it was fifty dollars. That's, yeah. that's quite a bit I, of money for Arby's. I eat a lot of Arby's. Arby's is good. They got some Arby's. good ass roast beef. Arby's is delicious. Except ex- for, it can be expensive though. This you know like fun six fact, bucks. I'm holding Arby's. Uh, I have Arby's right here. <laughs> this was five eighty one. For what, like one sandwich? It was it was a classic roast beef meal. Was that come with like French fries and a drink? Yeah. Well, I guess and that's a not sand- that's not sandwich. It's not too bad. Yeah. Whenever I go to McDonald's, I usually get a couple of double cheeseburgers, fries, and a coke, and that's like six bucks. What's well, McDonald's? McDonald's is just like let's make America fat again. Yeah. <laughs> well, it should be a shirt <laughs> or a hat. Get a red hat that says let's with a red hat with a yellow M and then let's make America fat again. We would probably get a lawsuit for that, but that would be hilarious. That would be I really funny. It. I want to do it. I might cut that out so that we can actually do. It. Nah, you don't gotta cut it out. Audience, look forward to it. <laughs> oh man! But somebody could steal our idea. Oh yeah, that's true. That's why I would say. That's why I said. I'll well, it just out. bleep it, and the audience will be like, "What did he say?" <laughs> um, Don't talk away from the mic. You're, you're a professional. Uh, you know about this. Shut up. It's, Don't tell me what to. Don't tell me how to live my life. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be rebel. Reb. So I've discerned. I don't even know if I just use that word. I've uh, decided that I think it's my mic that's causing the popping noise, or like the the thudding noise no nah, I, I don't know because i feel like it's my mic because when i went back and listened to it it happened a lot uh when i would talk or something like that we got to get some uh some pop filters and steve anime adventures might be the best thing that Rooster it's Chief pretty makes great on our, on it's our, pretty great on a regular basis mm-hmm. like sometimes i'll just go into the playlist of like 300 I'm, exactly uh, animated adventures yeah, yeah yeah exactly the I looked up, so when I was looking at our uh, popular videos uh, the other day, I went to Rooster Teeth channel and look at, do you know what, like, their, like, number five top video is? Or it's something super high like that. Mm, I know the first one is the Angry, Bir- Angry Birds it's, it's trailer, a, but... I, it's Tex fights the two people in Red vs. Wood. Huh? That scene. It's the scene where they fight... Oh, the Tex. animated fight scene between yeah. Tex and the and the Reds, or the, who knows, whatever. It's the one it's on Foundry. Scene. The one it's, on Foundry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that scene. Anyway, 
their like number five top video and their top animated adventure is Dan versus Food. Oh my god, I love that story. So it's, it's the it's one of the, it's probably one of the best. I think my favorite animated adventure though is uh, uh, Bernie Bernie's touchdown thing or whatever. Where he goes out on the middle of the football field while he's drunk and and he's streaking. Or, no, or, uh... he's not streaking. What are you talking about? I thought he was. Was he no, not? No, he he uh... he and his friends were drunk or whatever, and yeah, his friends convinced gonna, him they were, were going to all do it together. The, yeah, they were going to rush the field. But Bernie did it by himself. And then dirt, dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> Bernie, Bernie went out into the center of the field with all the football players, and he was just all alone. That's great. That's one of my. Ever, then he breaks the goal line. And everybody's like, "Yay!" <laughs> yeah, that's one of my favorite. That and uh, Drunk been... Bernie returns or whatever the one that it's where he goes to the party and he's handing people popcorn. Oh yeah, and telling them to leave the <laughs> party. Them to leave. <laughs> Those, I love that. I love that story. I, I take back the that was the, the football one. That's probably my favorite. The same. That favorite. was the same it's podcast true. where he was telling the story where he was drunk and. Uh, he was like, I am Catbug. Yeah, it's in the same animated adventure. Yeah, is it? Yeah, it's in the same animated adventure. I remember... I am Catbug. I remember, uh, like, uh, Monty was sitting next to him or whatever, and uh, Monty uh, was talking on that podcast, telling the story that Bernie was drunk at the uh, restaurant, and uh, the waiter came up and was like, all right, I'm going to bring your plate to you. And Bernie was like, it's going to have food on it, right? I Bernie love Bernie Burns is one of the funniest people. He really is. He's probably the best like drunk person I've ever seen besides uh, the cheese master. Cheese master is probably yeah, it's probably said, a close one, second. One of one of the best drunk moments I've ever seen by Yeah. Somebody. It was pretty great. Kids. If, in, in case you couldn't tell, Richard Deep's a huge inspiration to us. Yeah, we've been uh, God, I don't remember when I started. I watched I started watching Red vs. Blue when Season six came out. I think the first le- the first Rooster Teeth video I ever saw. Shut up, car. That's not a car. That's a lawnmower. Shut up, lawnmower. It's not working. <laughs> um, I think the first Rooster Teeth video I ever saw was uh, it wasn't even Red versus Blue. It was um, um. Left for Dead Survival Strategy. That was the first video you I'm saw. I'm pretty by sure him? that was the first Rooster Teeth video I ever saw. Did you that show was me? That like 2009. Did you show me Rooster Teeth? I don't even know. No, if... you showed me Rooster Teeth. Really? Yeah. I don't remember that. You sent me that video. Huh. You said, watch this, and I was like, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, and now we watch. That was, all... that was eight years ago, that video. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Their company is like 14 years old. Yeah, like... it's 14 years old this Jesus. year. Jesus. Soon, soon we'll be. I shouldn't say soon. That's fourteen years. Yeah, that's not exactly <laughs> just think, soon. Just think, just think about it. When our company is fourteen years old, Rooster Teeth will be have been a company for twenty eight years. That's insane. Let's see. When our company is fourteen years old, how old will I be? I will be thirty seven yeah, years old. Yeah, I'll be thirty seven. Uh, going on thirty eight. That's crazy. You th- well, you turn in twenty four and. September? Yeah. Yeah. Really close. Man. Looking forward didn't, to it. Didn't Not looking it. forward to being old as fuck, but <laughs> I already feel old as fuck and I'm only twenty three. So something I wanted to talk about that I said that I wanted to talk about was uh underrated games. Underrated games? Yeah. Like hidden gems that like Especially me and Wilson, we just play these un like mm. non triple A titles, and we yeah. fucking love them. Well, indie games are amazing. Like, well, like they're not even indie games; they're just un- small company games. Yeah, yeah, or like unknown games, like Shadow Run on the 360 comes to mind. Like, that was a that fun game, game but game it was so hard. Incredible. That is, that is one of the best games ever. And if I wish he was here so he could talk about it, too. Have you ever that played is one the, of uh, the best games. Have you ever played the Shadow Run tabletop game? Uh, I played it once at Ryan's house, mm. and I just like listened to them, and I was like, "This is D and D, and I'm not a fan of D and D." Really, you're not a fan of D and D? I only played D and D once, but I had a great time. Yeah, I just it's not it's not, not, for me. not your thing. You, yeah. You're more of the like, card player. 
Yeah. If I'm going to play a real life game, it's got to be like an actual board game or like, yeah, like card games. Like One of my favorite board games of all time was Clue. Clue was a great game. Oh, I got game. a raging Clue. What? I got a raging Clue. What does that mean? It's a South Park reference. Oh. Yeah, I don't watch South Park that yeah, much. But yeah. Clue is a great tabletop game. Did you know they're putting Monopoly on the Switch? Are they really? Yeah. Don't worry, it's coming out in the holiday of 2017. So December, pretty much? Yeah. So uh, I'm probably going to force you all to play Monopoly. <laughs> Hope okay. you're ready for that. Okay. That one day we're going to come into the office and we're going to sit here for three hours and play Monopoly <laughs> on the Switch. Hopefully we can get four or five funny minutes out of that. Yeah. But uh, we, we should do a face cam and where we just have the, it pointing at the table so that when uh, somebody gets knocked out, they flip over this table and it'll get hit on camera so we can see it. That would be an expensive table that flip. Way, yeah. And it was a heavy-ass table. We would probably get in so much trouble. That'd be a heavy-ass table. Or it is a heavy-ass table. Yeah. We would probably uh, get in a lot of trouble for that. I don't think we'd really do much damage to anything in the office because it's a pretty clear room. But all the stuff that we have on the table, if something got broke under this big-ass table, we'd be out of <laughs> several hundred dollars. Yeah. That would not, uh, it would not end well. Anyway, back to underrated games, especially Shadowrun, because I mm-hmm. wanted to keep talking about Shadowrun. Shadowrun's just like such a unique game. It's like a first-person shooter, but like it's like CS:GO, but good. <laughs> and, I'm gonna oh. get a lot of hate for that, but <laughs> yeah, I was about to say you probably just pissed off a lot of people. But uh, I tried. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a. In case you couldn't tell, I'm not a big CS:GO player. Yeah, me neither. I tried to play it like. I played like one match and I was god awful at it. Yeah, and I was I got, like, I, I, got I can't do this. Yeah. I, I played maybe five matches total since I bought the game, and I'm like, yeah. I'm not very good at this. Yeah, me neither. But I yeah, think so. uh, one of my favorite, like, probably my favorite thing that uh, Shadowrun has is though one of the guys that can teleport. You can just buy. It's it's is any character yeah you can you, it's one of the is, powers oh, you buy okay is right. teleport i care i can't remember yeah. it's been so long but I've, like I that was so my that favorite thing to do is like go through a wall by teleporting like, teleport like, is an elf through up the wall like teleport through the floor up and then mm-hmm. smg someone in the back or katana them in the back and watch them bleed it was a lot of fun to do that yeah it was the game was so unique. Like, all the weapons were different. All the races had different things to them that gave them strengths yeah. and weaknesses. Like, the dwarves countered the trolls because they could just suck out all their energy so that they couldn't harden their skin. Yeah. And the elves were, like, super fucking fast, and the humans were boring, but they were <laughs> Humans they were always reliable. are boring. Also, they... No, it was elves that regenerate health. Mm-hmm. Uh Humans got more cash. I think that's what the they uh, got. Yeah, but then you, if you, if you sucked, you would have to keep re-equipping yourself because you died, and you'd have to rebuy all your guns. Mm. And if you found it, if you killed someone, you could pick up their gun. And it was good stuff. It was like, a lot of fun. Like I was never any good at it, but whatever, and then you could become invincible and then teleport down, mm-hmm. or like. Uh, the, I forget what the crystal ability is called, but you could, like, they're getting towards their to their drop point with the artifact, and then you just crystal right next to their thing and just fuck them up. You remember a lot about this game. I, me and Wilson played that game so fucking much. <laughs> like, it's up there with, like, Old Republic and Halo 3 and Overwatch with how much I played that game. Really? Yeah. I only played, I played like the game. first hour or two of Knights of the Old Republic. You mean the Old Republic or Knights of the Old Republic, like the 2003 game? Like the 2003 game. I only played. What? It, I only played a what couple hours. What is wrong with you? You are missing I already, out. I knew the storyline already, and the gameplay was fun, but yeah. Man, you are, you are missing out. Play two at least, because two is two is phenomenal. I thought it was awful. I heard what? things that it was awful. No. No, it was made by... The one with, uh, what's his name, Nihilus on the cover? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, 2 yeah, is great. I heard it was awful. No. 
Yeah, I'm gonna look up right now what the rotten or not rotten tomatoes, <laughs> but the uh, Metacritic score is. Okay. Did you ever watch? Um, it's on Netflix. It's called uh, Indie Game the Movie. No. You should really watch that. It's really interesting and really cool. Yeah. The Metacritic score from reviewers is 85. That's not bad. That's really good. <laughs> the, the user score is 8.4. Again, not too bad. The critic reviews, 28 positive, 3 mixed, 0 negative. Yeah, I don't and Then positive, I don't know where I heard it from, but I heard it was god-awful. Users, 97 positive, 24 mixed, 20 negative. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know where I heard that from, but that, that game is phenomenal. That is such a good game. Is a pickup? Is a pickup from the first game, or is it a different story? It's a. Uh, they're related, but they're not like the same. They're in the same universe, but it's not yeah. not the same storyline. Uh huh. Okay. I think. It's been a long. Because I have since them. I have them both on Steam. It's been a long time since I've played two. So. I have like I fifteen it. Star Wars games on Steam. Because they had like a Star Wars collection pack uh, on sale. Who is this made by? This is, I'm, I'm trying to remember the studio that made this game. Obsidian, that's who made it. Uh, Damn, Obsidian made such good games. Like, they made um, New Vegas, but I wasn't a big fan of New uh, Vegas. Yeah, that's a... Uh, so like, I, that's a blood to thaw, but like you, I wasn't a big fan of it. I just didn't really like it. Uh I finally beat Fallout 4 recently. I still haven't played. You got to play it, man. You loved Fallout 3. And coming from someone who also loved Fallout 3, Fallout 4 is really good. Um, I don't know that I would say it was on par with Fallout 3. I think Fallout 3 was better, but I still really liked it. Did you play Stick of Truth? Uh, Yeah, but only like an hour, like the first hour of it. it. Yeah, it was fun. I just never that's picked it by, back up. That's made by Obsidian. Too. Is it? Yeah, by the people that made KOTOR 2. I mean, I thought it was okay. I'd probably give it like a 60 out of 100. I didn't, I didn't play that much. But I love South Park humor, so I loved it. You put, what, Stick of Truth? Yeah. Did you Far play Far the whole played, game? No, not the whole game. But uh, what I did play, fucking loved it because it was... Uh, it Do was, you want to you wanna make some uh, Final Fantasy uh, fans rage? Why? Because Curry and I both really liked Final Fantasy thirteen. Why would that like? Sure, people don't like it, but like most of the I, most Final Fantasy fans I've talked oh, to. Oh, I agree. A lot of people do I've not like it. Don't like it at all. Yeah. I, honestly, it was probably my favorite one. Granted, I haven't played any of them since like Final Fantasy five. But I played seven. I didn't wanted play to play seven. ten. I wanted to play ten. Uh, but I haven't played 10. I, I haven't played that. 7 or 10. I started 15, and I got like 15 or 20 hours into it. Um, and it's great. I love it. But uh, I never... I'm not interested. I, I didn't beat it because uh, I put it down and then picked it up like a week later and I had no idea what the hell was going on. So, oh. But Final Fantasy 15 is really good. I like 14 better than 13, but that's because it's an Four, MMO, yeah. and, and uh, I love MMOs, and it's so pretty. Is it? I've, so I've never fun. played it. I don't really play MMOs. I, th- I think that's the most beautiful MMO I've ever played. I don't know if it's the best MMO I've ever played, but it's definitely the like best graphical looking. The abilities look so cool, and the mm-hmm. monsters look cool. Wow, yeah. and uh, the Old Republic are the only MMOs I ever really got into. Well, WoW is all right, but like, like WoW as a game is pretty good. But I just, by the way, I've quit WoW. In case I didn't tell you that. Nice. Uh, but yeah, it was like my problem that I had with WoW is that when I played Star Wars, I there was maybe so there's eight classes. Well, I should say there's no, no, no. There, there's essentially eight classes that I'm putting in air quotes. There's Four on each faction, and then there's two divided from each base class. But then there were uh, eight times three is 24. So there are 24 specs in the game, different specs. There were probably there were probably six that I didn't enjoy playing. I liked 18 of the specializations in that class mm-hmm. game. I couldn't find one in WoW that made me want to keep playing. Really? Yeah. So like that's that was the biggest problem I had with WoW is like the raids like Nighthold 
and uh emerald nightmare was kind of just like all right Mm -hmm. but nighthold was like really fun like i really enjoyed nighthold but like none of the classes just made me want to play a game so i just just stopped caring um where on star wars i would just like sorry i like i would have i like have like Okay, I want to play Operative today. Okay, I want to play Merc. Okay, Juggernaut. I liked uh, Star Wars a lot, but I didn't play a bunch of the the classes. I played maybe four or five. I liked it. Um, I just didn't really have enough friends to play with, even though I know you played with a bunch of people. Yeah. Fun fact, uh, the people that are involved with this, me, Carol, just, and... uh, Nolly, uh, he's going to be in our uh, Overwatch Uprising video. He, we all met each other through a Star Wars The Old Republic guild. Really? Yeah. So, And we've been talking for now, going on, it's got to be going on three or four years. Really? Yeah. Wow. We, we've quit Star Wars for a l- minimum a year. Hmm. Minimum. Uh, I still log in occasionally, but like Noli and just, Noli and just like hate the game now. Really? No, I I shouldn't say that. I don't actually know, but uh, yeah, they haven't logged in since we kind of broke up as a raid group. Mm. Carol's maybe logged in like twice, mm. but I I'm a sucker and I keep going back every <laughs> once in a while. I mean, it's Star Wars and it's an MMO. I mean, it's... like if I'm not playing Overwatch. Typically playing an MMO. I re- what, is the uprising depending. event still going on? Yeah, because I, w- I do want to play that. It's, it's so good. The story, the story stuff. Oh, they have story oh. stuff. Yeah, it's like P- it, the event is PVE. Okay, how long is it going on for? May first. Okay, so maybe you should look at the skins because the a skins few more are weeks. badass. Too. I really like the Mercy skin. Yeah. So you you have seen the skins? Though? Yeah. Yeah. The uh, God, the the mission is so fun. <laughs> you, it's, it's like tower defense, but in Overwatch. We're talking about Overwatch again. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> That's what I play the most. Was this like fifteen for fifteen or some it's, shit? It's like six or six. Wow. I do want to play that though. I love this. I just I love the skins. Those are probably my favorite skins that I've seen so far. I agree. That and uh, that and uh, summer games are my two favorite skin wise events so far. I wasn't. I didn't have the game then, so. But uh, yeah. So, by the way, I hit level five hundred. Nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm still like level. <laughs> You're level like twelve or something like that. <laughs> maybe like fourteen, maybe I don't uh, know. Yeah. So like the the events like you go through Tracer's first mission like as an Overwatch agent and you hmm. play through Tracer's first Overwatch. That's interesting. Mission. Yeah, it's like an upri- uh, an Omnic Uprising in King's Row, and you have to go and defuse it. Sounds interesting. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's like, and then the, your team, your team is Reinhardt, Mercy, Torbjorn, Tracer. Really? That's the team? <laughs> That's the team. Wow. It's so much fun. Like... Yeah, like, I really hope Blizzard does more PvE. That honestly, that's what's gonna keep me coming back to Overwatch if they do story stuff. Like I'm so interested in the story, the story behind these characters and the story in Overwatch is so good. Hold on, hold on. I'm so Oh, I wasn't loud enough. I'm so I'm so excited. I really hope they do more PvE than God, PvE stinks, story. Though. Or even PvP story stuff. I don't even care. I just want more story. Yeah, same here. I mean, there like, go, like I said, like, like I said, that's what that that's what will keep me coming back. So I I'm a, like I haven't played really multi have multi, games that are heavy in multiplayer got since Halo 3 really. I play more story based games than anything. Yeah, I don't know. When I play games, I like have to play with someone else. Yeah, well, that's just me though. Well, I shouldn't say that because I play some. I like single player. Games. I like playing with other people, but most of the time, like when I sit down at my computer, it's like I feel antisocial right now. I'm gonna play a story game and live through these people's lives. Fuck my own life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But... Like uh, I, I finished Life is Strange recently too. Cause I took like a two year break from that and then completed it and the ending was less than great in my opinion but the overall experience was awesome 
I don't know. Are you feel? Do you even know what that game is? I've heard of it. I haven't like. It's like one of those episodic. So, yeah, I was about. Isn't it? Isn't it like a? Is it a Telltale game? Or no, it it's a uh, Square Telltale? Enix. Really? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'll look it up right now. I didn't know that. I know we kind of. Who got... made Life is Strange? Life is Strange was directed by Isaac. Not the movie, <laughs> you stupid shit. <laughs> All right, I'll just. Go on Google. Well, uh, the, uh, uh it says Don't Nod Entertainment. Oh, it's, uh, developed by Don't Nod Entertainment and published by Square Enix. Siri, tell me a joke. Two iPhones walk into a bar. I forget the rest. Ca- All right. <laughs> anyway. I was, uh, when I was in California, uh, working at Yosemite, I, uh, went in directions to San Francisco while I was driving. So I used Siri and uh, I was like, Siri, where the fuck is San Francisco? And uh, instead of giving me directions, she said, Austin language. Really? Yeah. (laughs) That's. That was a car alarm. Yeah. Uh, Fun fact, car alarm just went off. Yeah. Uh, Not one of ours, thankfully. Yeah. I was like, God damn it. Just give me directions to San Francisco, please. Did you say the next time? Did you say no, that? no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I know we kind of got off it super, super fast, but I want to talk about some more underrated games. Yeah, I know. We, we, we talked about it for like five minutes. minutes. I was just yeah, thinking about that. Five minutes. It was like two minutes. Another trying to, one. Trying to think of, yeah, you go ahead while I think. Oh, I've got, I've got like at least two more. Okay. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Never played it. <laughs> they, don't even know what it it's is. A, it's a GameCube game. It was made by the Sonic team. But, <laughs> then you uh, know it's great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it was like uh, you roll around eggs and then you hatch birds and you fight. Or not birds, but like animals and then you fight with them. It's like. Okay. And, and like your weapon would be eggs. It was like Katamari sort of. That's weird. Yeah. And you would like fling your egg. Like I say, eggs, they're like fucking enormous. They're Are like they? bigger than you, yeah. Huh. And then, like, some of the special eggs, you could get like Sonic out of a special egg. <laughs> they were called, like, uh, I think they were called Sonic eggs, or you could get tails or knuckles. Really? Yeah, and then, but yeah. And then, you know how you hatch the eggs? Uh huh. You're in a, you're in a, you're in a chicken suit. Okay. Yeah. Do you sit on it? Your character's in a, no, your character is in a chicken suit. So to hatch the egg when it's big enough, you yell at it, cockle doodle doo. Really? Yeah. Wow, that sounds tremendous. <laughs> it was amazing. That game is very underrated. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that game got. I'm gonna look up the reviews because I'm pretty sure that game got horrible reviews. Really? Well, I loved it. I'm trying to think. Really of, I'm trying sure. to think of any underrated games that I've played, but I can't think of any right now. I'll look up a list of underrated really? games to see if I played any of them. Wow. Wow, it got it got a seventy one. That's a lot better than I thought it would yeah, be. Yeah, that's not that bad. Yeah, there's only two negative critic reviews. God, fucking, I hate these stupid game uh, websites, and they that all have like fucking just pop ups that take up the whole screen. Like, fuck off. Yeah, the seventy one. Fun that- fact: BabyShark.com does not have. Or dot, dot com. Dot. I don't even know my damn website. Babyshark.net does not have pop-ups that take up your entire screen. Plug. <laughs> yeah, it's a 71 Metacritic score, and then it's an 8.7 user review score. Hmm. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. So, yeah, you would yell cock a doodle doo I'm going to show it to you after we're done. With it. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Uh, and then the other one is Orcs Must Die Too, which we're going to put a, me and Wilson recorded, and we're going to put a video out for that at some point. Uh, Orcs Must Die Too, another super creative game. Oh, wow. Orcs Must Die Too got an 83 on Metacritic. Wow. Yeah, uh, 7.9. Which, granted, I didn't think a lot of people uh, disliked that game. It just kind of fell off like, the wagon, probably. It just... Thank you for putting the trailer on the website that just... <laughs> Autoplays? Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, like, Orcs Must Die 2 is such a creative game, and, like, 
God. I was never really big into tower defense games, but I feel tower like I feel like I could really get into that one. Again, like the common theme here is like they're just different games. Like orcs must die. It's just put up like acid shooters on the walls and spikes out of the ground and they're uh they're creative yeah then you have shadow run that's like i'm not even gonna use the analogy i used <laughs> but uh and then you have billy hatcher and the giant egg and there's so many others i could just i'm looking at a list of underrated games and one of them was legend of zelda uh wind waker was that, under, was that, that was underrated? underrated? I was about to say, I feel like that was pretty that was, well liked. That was one of the, like, also, that's one of, I, th- I, I think, is one of the biggest Zeldas. There's another one, uh, Luigi's Mansion, which I do agree with that. I loved Luigi's Mansion. I didn't play Luigi's Mansion. I watched Wilson play it uh, multiple times, but I didn't play it myself. I played it on uh, the DS. It was on the DS? Or the 3DS, it might have been. Uh, it was like it was like the newest one or whatever. Yeah, a few years ago, and it was really good. I loved it. I never played it on uh, GameCube though. There's a lot of really good GameCube games. Yeah. I think GameCube got a lot of shit. I don't know. Like I wouldn't be able to say for sure. GameCube was but, phenomenal. Yeah, GameCube was great. Like Animal Crossing was that the first Animal Crossing yeah, release? The first Animal Crossing was on GameCube, which was an amazing game. Uh, I mean, Tales of Symphonia. Yeah, I love. A Double lot of the Dash. Tales games. I was going to say Double Sunshine. Dash. Mario uh, Mario Party Sunshine was great. Uh, Mario Party Sunshine. What I is that what I said? Yeah. <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> that was great. Um, Melee. Yeah. <laughs> Super Smash Bros. Melee was phenomenal. Um, yeah. Double Billy Dash. Hatcher. There. <laughs> was that on GameCube? Yeah, it was on GameCube. I think you said that, didn't you? Yeah. Um, we got to do a Double Dash video, man. We, we got to. There's so many go- cool ideas that we want to film. It's, if it's they, just, it's if they rough put, to get all the people for the video yeah. all in one spot at one time. It's yeah. really difficult. That's why me and Austin are doing this as two people right now is because everyone has different. I think we even mentioned this at the beginning. Everyone has yeah. different schedules. So, yeah. like I'm. Have they, has any other word come out about... Uh, GameCube Virtual Console on the Switch. No. Because I really want that. Like, that would be such a smart move to do, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people probably want that. It would be be, great. Especially after that story that me and Wilson were talking about, where he just, he gave me that glimmer of hope and then just stole it. What are you talking about? When, when we were originally talking about it, when he was here, how we were talking about the sunshine, sun. Sun Sprite mode, or it was like, oh, on yeah, and, and then he would like let me keep it until the last fucking oh, yeah, second. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Would just steal it. What was that podcast for? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> One of those, it was, a, it was a podcast, but yeah, because yeah. I remember listening to it recently, maybe the last week or something. I don't know. All right, well, uh, do you, do you want to wrap it up? Yeah, I was about to say, I think this is could be a good end to the episode all right well we will see you all next week see ya